What is your job over there? Co-host and producer. And I run his whole life in social media. Like when your father tweets in capital letters, whose decision is that? His. What's your decision? When his tweets actually are spelled with correct grammar. I, I've his... yet to see a, a tweet with, with any attempt at punctuation. But that's when he Correct or it. incorrect. I've just, I think that's beyond both of you. But, you know, Twitter's not like an English class. Like. I know, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't really be an illiteracy class. <laughs> so you're... You, wanna break you hungry? Well, I'm hungry. You, you like baseball? Well, I love that shit. Want a slice of pizza? Go to New York. You want hot weather? Come to L.A. You want to break bread? Call Nick Toro. Ready, motherfucker? Are you ready? Well, I'm fucking ready. Get ready. Are we rolling or we're not? I heard we're rolling. You sure? Yeah. All right. Beautiful. How was dinner the other night? Dinner was great. I got my Tell the people. I got my dear friend. Who made you dinner? Mark Kriegel here. Who I know. Like the old days? 20 something years. Long Yo, time ago. Posted us for the, for the fight. Yeah. Wait, wait. Are you allowed to talk in? Is he allowed to talk in? He can talk. We need some authority over him. He can talk. Mark, this is like the 27th episode, man. You're coming in late. I know, but I still, I still think that I watch them. I still think your dad needs a little authority over you. But, you know. Then you'll just hear him talk about spaghettis, meatballs. He's got stuff. something to say. Let him say it. Right. It's fine. I'm not against it. How you doing? How Sandwich do you good? It's very good. How do you feel about Nick Nick's hot yoga thing? The hot yoga? Is he doing it for girls or is he doing it for... No, I think he's doing it for himself, his self-worth. If, if you did it for girls, wouldn't you be doing it for self, self reasons too? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. He's, no, he's, I, I'm not saying it's a. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not. I'm, I don't judge. Yeah. Too much. I mean, hot yoga. It's he's gotten in good shape. What's so. the matter with cold yoga? You don't sweat. <laughs> really? This is yoga sculpt. So you lift weights too. Really? Yeah. He did it. Chicks like it. He did it. Yeah. It's very. Yeah. The whole class gets packed like seventy. You, people. you sweat. You sweat hard. I bet you sweat a lot. Oh yeah. Forget about it. Yeah, but I like to wear clothes. A lot of guys come in there like half. I'm glad. I'm glad. How about the guys in the yoga class? Oh, With those the, guys? The, 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 the man, man bun? buns. Are you talking about me? Oh, you do that? Well, how do you think my hair goes up? That's true. I have to put my that's, hair up. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. How is it terrible, Mark? Uh, that's, that's, I, just, that's, I, have, I have very few true prejudices in this world. But guys with man buns is one of them. I guarantee you, if you had a son living out in Santa Monica, yeah, he would yeah, do yeah. yoga and have a hair. A man okay, bun. well, I don't have a son. So <laughs> I can, as much as I, I love you, like a son type figure in my life, I, I disapprove of, of your man bunness vehemently. Mm. I think you should think about that. I would de man bun yourself. I, but, me. Why? but why? As, as, what if your father saw his, his grandson with a man bun? What would he think? Oh, my, I had a brother who had long hair. My Did he wear a man bun and go to no, yoga? No, but he okay. walked in with hair like, like... What would he say about your son? He wouldn't like it. Okay. Yeah. No. Just think about, think about your, your people who came before you. My brother Ralph walked in with eight-inch heels. Really? Yeah. Glitter boots. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Remember Kiss? No man bun. No man bun, but long hair. But, like, but he was rock and roll. Man, right, but man bun in a yoga class? Come on, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Have you ever done yoga? I did. But have you done hot yoga sculpt? I did the one thing where I went with my daughter, and Holiday took me. This place on Montana Avenue, and I, I sweated it an unnatural amount. I can bow it like a big puddle. And finally, the lady, like, she didn't want to touch me. She was like, oh, like, like this, like, mm -hmm. you know how they are in Santa Monica, the fake polite. Right. Then you had all these guys in there look like they weren't very sanitary. Right. With the man buns. With the man buns. And they went in to try to, like, pick up the girls. I know they were like predators. I know it. I'm not supposed to say this, but I know in my heart they were. I don't like them. I did not like the yoga guys. 
Yeah, Sorry. well, it's a different world. That yoga world is a different. But it's world. different than like Sherman that. Oaks. Everyone's trying to be. Everyone's yeah, but trying that's to be... but that's Santa Monica. You're on the west side. This is the valley. Stop. There's a less pre- there's a Stop. less prejudice. He's not that kind of guy. Stop. You liked it. Don't well, bullshit me. I think it's. I think it's. Good. Did he like? Ask him if he liked it. I thought some of it was interesting. Bullshit. I mean, I you like it. Issues, but so. also, wait, wait. So I couldn't get know. up after this thing. That's I a, couldn't get up out, out of the uh, like. They, I was pretzeled. Were you were you lifting weights in the class too or no? No, they didn't have weights. No, they see, weren't that involved or whatever it is. Yeah, you probably did like a stretch class. But, I don't know. But look at Kriegel. He, I mean, who works out? He's a physical, fit guy. I mean, Would you say he's a physical specimen? Let's say he's a bit of a specimen. He's always pumped. He's always jacked. Even though he has a lot of issues, right? I got a lot of issues. My what back, is, my who knees. has more issues, you or him, physically? Me. But wow. you don't complain. That's hard to believe. That's the, he's the only you person that ever. He, I, that's the first time I've ever been, my whole life, been accused of complaining less than someone else. Because he complains over nothing. No, that's no. not true. That's not true. He yes. can't get up. He needs a shot in no, his but back. No, he, but he's self-inflicted. So because right, he doesn't do anything. So yeah, you just got to get him to go to yoga. Do you hear what he did? <laughs> do you hear what he did Friday, Mark? We had, no. a, we had a party at our house with a cousin. Wait, you had a part, you didn't invite me? It wasn't our I invited party. you on Saturday, but you don't invite me on Friday. You're always invited. Guilty. You're always Kids invited. Guilty. It wasn't, bar- it was, wasn't my party. It's my it was the, my, my brother-in-law's party. Oh, Eric? Yeah, Eric. 13-year-old party. Anyways. So Your friend Eric. He got, he, got, yeah. he got very drunk at the party, and he was told that day to chill and relax and not dance around. And what, he, I didn't he do any jumps, around. any leaps. Yes, you did. Air. No, I didn't. I just did a couple of spins. I was moving very loosely. I was just because I had that grab back procedure, but I was just loosening myself. Yes. I wasn't How loose like, did you get? A little, a little loose. A little loose. Not that loose. So what was the self-inflicted damage? I don't know what he's talking about. Because you're the complaining about your pain. I drank too much. Yeah, and what happened? Your diverticulitis came back. Well, that could be true. And you ate a Big Mac Friday night, too. Good for you. Yeah, well, Big Mac's my, that's my weakness. You think that put me over the top? Yeah. No, I don't know. It would have had. You don't. Know, you don't like. You like the Big Mac. I like a Big Mac fresh. 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 Okay. Whatever. You got to just go fresh. Fresh. Because because a lot of times it's sitting there. You know what I mean. You don't want it sitting. I know. There. So you have to tell them three you times. You know what's underrated? What? It's got to be hot. What is it? The fillet of fish. Fillet of fish is good. It doesn't suck. <laughs> you no, know, it doesn't. And when we were kids, the French fries were great. All right. Yeah. All right. Were you a fast food guy growing up? Look, we had a McDonald's downstairs. Like everyone said, oh, they're going to put the McDonald's downstairs. The world's going to end. And it was fine. But I can't, I'm sorry. Why are you talking so much? How's my mic? Pull it closer. We're good. Okay. Wait, right. Stop telling. Stop bothering me. <laughs> Jim. Oh. Let's do something we, yeah. have no, yeah. we have no experience doing. Drink. Yeah. Open up the wine. All right. So, so what are we doing here? What are we going to talk about? We're going to toast you. You and me, our relationship. You see, this our guy is like, we've had a very... Deep relationship on Very a lot deep. of on a lot of levels. Don't please don't talk about our affair. But no, no, nothing. I want that to remain between <laughs> that, that's us. That's sacred. Yeah, that's. Look, it was sacred. late one night. Could you we? Couldn't, you couldn't help yourself. Could we? Could we pug no. up in bed? No. Like, could you no. ever see us pugging? You know, no, what? No, me and my brothers get, no, had a word. Please, I don't, no, listen. Just listen to the word. Listen no. to the word. We, I, I we love made, you. We I do. I, love, I don't find you physically we, attractive. But we made up words. You know, don't touch me. Come on. Don't, don't, don't rub. Don't. Really? No, that bothers you? No, I'm just. You don't like physical contact. I don't like physical contact with you. I love you, but don't, <laughs> don't, don't contact me. Why? Like that. Cheers. Salute. L'chaim. Salute. L'chaim. Everything. All right. We've been doing this for many years. All right. Happy Rosh Hashanah. Uh, man, I Thank need you. A little, I need a little ice. That's right. It's a Jewish holiday. I know. Right. I drink on the Jewish holidays. I drink none on the Jewish holidays. So tell me, what is that like? A what is that? What kind of ice is that? Like a it's like, like a, a cube. You want a cube? Yeah, it's, yeah. Just Let's have a cube. Did you wash your hands? I did. Before you threw it in I my glass. I washed my hands a lot. Wow. Okay. So I met this man, Mark Kriegel, 1995. I was on NYPD Blue at the time. It was a big star. Big show. It was a big show, and 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 I I didn't know. Who he was, but I I did read the Daily News. He was a newspaper columnist. You know who I was. I mean, I knew I knew his name. I knew his name, but I didn't know you know I didn't know him personally. A, a good friend of mine, Michael Rayner, actually went right. to high school with Mark Kriegel. We're in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Stuyvesant what? High School. Stuyvesant High School, and they played basketball together. Mm-hmm. Want to see a picture? I'm gonna see the picture. Mark, I saw the picture once. 
keep talking. It takes me, like, I'm not, like, really good with the phone. No, that's all right. You know, but hold on. Keep so, talking. So I didn't know. So I didn't know There's that. a lot of things he didn't know. Raina knew Kriegel. His name was Mike Stern then. Mike Stern? Oh, Michael. That was before he got that's married. His, that's his real, right, that was his dad's name. Yeah. Who's Floyd Stern? He did a one-act play right. about looking for his dad. Anyway, uh, somebody came. Michael o always had to be, and, and was, I love him. Like the coolest white guy on the court. <laughs> Mike? Yeah. Well, he's he a, takes two steps. He, like he, 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 he loves himself. Right. He loves himself. And he's, he's a good the right guy. kind of narcissist. He is the right kind. Because he's right. not a mean narcissist. No. There's nothing really mean about him. Hold on, wait. Now, what do you got to do? You got to go to the, the pictures. Go to like what are the pictures gallery, with the heart? gallery or something. I don't know, but I Continue the story while he finds it. Anyway, so I don't remember who was the guy mm -hmm. that brought me this book. Uh, somebody, some producer, somebody said... Hey, I right. got this book. It would be great for you. Maybe you could, you know, star in it. And it was like a coming of age story. Right. It was called Bless Me Father. Right. Really terrific book. It was his first book, his first novel, which touched on a lot of stuff. The church. Actually, like, I thought it was great, too, at the time. It was great. But it's it since been revealed to me that it sucks. No, no, it doesn't suck. It's actually sucks. a really good movie. I've been trying to make the movie for over 20 years. You know how long, you know how long your father's been trying to make this movie? Since for before over I'm alive. 20 years. Right, since, since so let's start. Since before. 95. He started out, but so the, it, it's, it's a father and a son. Father and a son. And, it, and his it, brother. It started out with a, a column I wrote. Is that how it started? In the, in the post, I think. What, what was the column called? Sammy, Sammy Gravano was testifying against John Gotti. Right. And you covered the and trial? I, right. And... Um, I covered him on a stand. This is, I used to go back and forth between sports and news. Pete Hammer would come in to run the paper and he would take me from sports to news and he would get fired and I'd go back to sports. Happened at, at the Post and, and then at the news. So I write a column on Gravano testifying against Gotti. And I find out later that Gravano had this son and there was a whole drama with a boxing trainer, um, Teddy Atlas and um, I fictionalized it as, as a novel close to where I grew up in the village, which seemed like a, a much more interesting Setting. backdrop, especially right. in, the, in the 70s and the 80s. So I, I thought it was a work of genius when it came out. And, there's brilliance in no, it. No, it's not. Oh, it, there's, a couple, there's a couple of there's moments. There's great stuff. There's a couple of moments that don't suck. No, no. But mostly it's overwritten and the dialogue is too long and there's a bunch of things that, that torture me. But it's not a bad screenplay. I'm telling you, the book, there's, there's great dialogue in the book. When we, started, when we started doing the book, he wanted to play the, the son. And now, he, now he's hanging on to play the father. Right. He might be a little old. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> well, we're, the kid is supposed to be, the kid is really supposed to be like 16. Nick Nick could play him. Maybe Nick Nick could play him. If he cuts his goddamn yeah, hair and doesn't, doesn't wear a man bun. And he kind of looks pretty no now. man bun. Yeah, no, he, he, actually, he could actually no, he, he could actually it. could Bro, do the role. I learned now. how to box because of that. Because at one point there were supposed right. was there was a potential was going to happen. Nick Nick was pretty good. He could move. He, no, you know. he, he's got good hands. That was good. Yeah. But anyway, I called. I got. I got his number. He worked for the Daily News. So the phone. I remember the day the phone rang. And and uh, I don't know how to get these. I things. know he's like a you know he's a columnist, so he's a kind of a little bit abrupt. And he was like, I said, it wasn't abrupt. Well, not abrupt, but I, I was like, could I speak to Mark Kriegel? And he was like, yeah, who is it? <laughs> and I said, uh, it's uh, Nick Turturro. I'm an actor. I'm on NYPD Blue. You know, yeah. How you doing, man? How are you? I said, I, I really like your book. You know, I'd love to meet you. I'd love to maybe. I, I didn't even know how this worked. I didn't know you know how to option a book, how to develop a book, right. how to develop a movie. But he was like, cool, let's get together. And I don't remember the next time we ever met. met. Was the first time we met, was it in Long Island? Did you come to see we, me? I went, I went to go see you. We had a place in the Hampton Bays. Yeah. And you wanted to play catch. <laughs> like that's when you were most at home. You're playing, we were playing catch. I have a couple of mitts. Yeah, you brought yeah. out a couple of mats. Let, let's yeah. tell you what, why don't we play catch? I'm like, this, what is this, like some kind of like a test? Or what, what is he? Like, we'll play catch. It's funny that I, yeah. I said that. Did, did we have a catch? Play catch. Yeah. And then and then what happened? You hung out I for the, the day? I was the pitcher. You were the catch. I no, was? No, I was the <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but you had a good day, right? A I mean, great day. Yeah. You took the train out there? Hampton Bays, I remember. I yeah. think I drove. I had a place out there then. Oh, you did? Yeah. I right. drove, and then that was before the crash. So I optioned the book, right? 
first option. Who did I do it with? Did I do it with, was it Dan, Dan your friend Dan? Yeah, Kors? I don't know. You didn't mean I don't even remember. I don't remember. That was the first. Oh, no, think, no. The first option was Dennis Hamill. No, Dennis wrote it. He wrote the first right. screenplay. And you drove him crazy. And I didn't like it. And then Dennis was mad at me. And then we said that we need a new writer. And then we got. Um, wait, wait, there's a bit more writer. Wait, but, but one time we had this reading. No, but I'm this, not getting this cast. There. Wait a sec. Let me get to that. We're not even there. Call Capitorto then, Kate. It's going to be like longer than Exodus. No, no. Call Capitorto the second writer. Capitorto. 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 Whatever. Your Capitorto. brother got him, right? No, my brother knows him. He's a, okay. he's a writer who did I think some... I drove him crazy. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Yeah, and, and actually was, was a decent script. And it got to Chaz Palminteri. Right. And he actually called me and said, this isn't bad. You know, I actually like this, but... It needs to be rewritten. Because he goes, it actually needs a guy like me, but you can't <laughs> afford me. I was like, who said you were a great writer? You know, because I heard Bronx Tale, a lot of it is robbed anyway. So, but that's another story. All right. uh, but then we said, okay, so we'll rewrite it. Me and Michael Rayner, we rewrote it for, to do a reading down in uh, Tribeca. And Mark was in his, he was so happy because we had, an incredible cast. Well, wait, you're missing the whole thing about how, first of all, your, your dad was really riding high. A suite in the Regency, right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm going to interview actors while I have a suite in the Regency. <laughs> Look at it. No, um, I used to stay there. Right. I used to stay in um, the Regency. So. Burt Young he, came. Right, well, I got Burt Young. Because that we, was my guy. That you, that you yeah, yeah, you you brought something to He would have been table. great. He Thank was you. great. Thank you. Who was well, at the reading? Who was at the reading? Yes. Chad's Pomentary. Okay. Mm -hmm. John Turturro. His brother. David Strathairn. Mm -hmm. Chris Noth. Um, Dominic Chianese. Mm -hmm. Vinnie Pastor. Um, Crumholtz. David Crumholtz. Your cousin. Aida Turturro. Um, it, was a, it was a great cast. So then, wasn't kind of then your dad moves to New York. Hold it, wait. No. Then oh. it didn't happen. Then I met Fat Richie. No, 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 no. No, no. You no. moved to New York. You moved to New York. And we're getting ready to shoot. This is a true story. Because Fat Richie it's came aboard. It's a true story. Yes. I, I, the guy came. This, I met this guy, Fat Richie, right? This guy. Who was like a wannabe gangster. Anyway. Even though he still talks. This guy, Joe. And, and very fat, too. Yeah. Well, Joe Sabatino was an actor. He told me he was a producer. Who's Joe Sabatino? He was a guy. Well, he was an actor on NYPD, yeah. guest actor once in a while. You, you're lucky like you didn't get charged with like, being part of a RICO act. Well, whatever. But I mean, anyway, the guy, he goes, we got these studios down in Santa Monica. This is a true story. I go down there. I don't Nick, know what about when we're in New York? We we're ready to shoot. This is this. And you go, what's a bomb? That's how I got the money to do this because I met Fat remember Richie. This, remember, remember, Mark. What's a bond? Never mind I'm the bond. To, uh, anyway, wait, wait, I'm wait, in wait. an abandoned building. What's a bond? I was having a meeting. Check this out, Jim. In an abandoned building, they had like a fake set. In a, I said, what is this? I thought like you know they sent me in for like to do a hit on me. I get in there. Why would anyone want to do that? I don't know. Anyway, Sabatino has like a, an I office. I can't find my thing here. But this isn't I like a real it. office. This is like a scene out of a like House of Games or some shit. He's like, hey, Nikki, how are you? Come in. I sit down. Then a guy pulls up in a silhouette. Richie. Yeah. That's my... Wait, I'm sorry. I mean to interrupt. That's, that's the... Uh, Let me see. Pistol Pete. So I'm next, I'm, next to, I'm next to Rainer. I don't know how to do the photographs. They don't... They turn. I see. Show, show the there audience. Yeah. Yeah. Can't, yeah. They can't. They, Come here. Look at this. You, you, you. Ah, the freaking thing. You don't know how to use it. Come iPhone. here. You do it. That's Fix what we have you here for. That's what you're here for. I don't know how to flip the photo. I don't have a man bun either. <laughs> Just know your role. Yeah. Know your role. <laughs> try, to, try to stay on point with this man. Anyway. Thank you. All right. All right, so Rainer so is I, next to me. Yeah. All right, thank so you. So I sit down, right? Sabatino's across. It's dark level. 
like a David Mamet movie. And then the fat Richie slides in. How you doing? How are you? And I didn't know. Who, I thought this guy was going to Did he have any of his wives with him? No, then? no, none of his wives. Nothing yet. Do you remember yeah. we had the meeting with, the, with his? Yeah, that's the second one. So he goes to me. I can make money with this kid. I said, because first Joe said to me, you got to give me money to make the movie. I said, I don't give nobody money to make the movie. You give me money. That's how it works, motherfucker. You understand? I don't, I don't work for free. You got to pay me. I don't pay you. So he goes, all right, all right, right. But then the guy goes, Richie goes, he's right. The kid's right. So he goes, don't worry. Well, that settles We're, we're, we're going to make this movie. So then we had another meeting in Tarzana. He shows up with a brown bag. Right? He's got like 10 grand in the bag. He's a little start kid. I was like, and then, then he came to the, to the Regency with a guy in a wheelchair who came in with another brown paper bag. I thought I, I was I, like I was in a mob movie. I, I went to the bathroom. I was smiling. So where? where, where so how, he gave when me like a lot of money. Because there's there's he summer. Was giving me one money. summer you moved to the city. Then I bought. I, got, I rented an apartment in the city. I thought you I was rented making, an apartment to do the yes. movie. Yes. And the day before principal photography, what do you do? What did I do? And, it, and it's cast with like you got to see this cast. Burt Young. No, what do you mean doing like this? <laughs> it's a true. Burt Young. Yes. Who else? Great cast. Who was in the cast? It's actual cast. It was supposed to be in. Bobby hey, Cannavale. The Wait a second. Right. You actually went to principal photography? No. Wait a second. No, no we I, did. I was prepared. I was doing pre-production. No, 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 but no. I never it really. It was supposed to start. Was... Like, say it was like July 5th. It was supposed to start. He calls me up on July 4th or whatever it was. He goes, oh, Mark, what's this thing? What is this? A bond. I go, what do you mean a bond? Like me and you have a bond. Oh, my word <laughs> is my bond. What, what? No, 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 like a, like a bond. They tell me I got to have a bond to shoot here in New York. What, what is that, a bond? What does that mean? I go, I don't know. You're the director. What's a bond? I don't, you know, you need, a, you need to put up a bond. It's, it's insurance in case things go oh, wrong. Oh, that was the end of the movie. Yeah. Burt Young and this and that. But I didn't know. I thought this guy was feeding me along. He was giving me a little money, a little here, and I was setting up shop. I was hiring people. I thought I was making the movie. Two, two questions for you. You were on a hit show at this time, right? Yeah. So no, I may have been off by now. No, it was before 99, so you were still on the show. Yeah. So you being on a hit show with real representation and you're actually in the business, why don't you reach out to actual industry people to get that money? And why do you go to a fake gangster why, he has fat who Richie. hands you what 10 you grand in a paper guy? bag? <laughs> this makes no sense. It's called independent filmmaking. No. You know what that means? It means you're independent. It means you're, smuck. It means you're independent. I heard, That's right. I bet by any means necessary. I bet. I bet. I bet the Spike goat. Lee made a movie his first time by any means on credit card. But he was not even anything yet. You were something. You had leverage. Well, yeah, you went to a guy with no leverage. Movie. If Fat Richie showed up with Spike Lee, that's one great career we never would have heard about. Guaranteed. <laughs> I agree with Mark on that one. Uh, what's a bond? So, Mark, what is anyway, this a barn? I, I've never, never I bet you it was a I mean, vision I, of yours that like, oh, I'm like the, guy, the kid in Goodfellas who's getting handed the suits and the, the money barn? and stuff like that. What's it was probably barn? your vision when you were trying to make the movie. This is so <laughs> disappointing. It was the once, three times, four times. Then I tried again. Then I even introduced him years later to Fat Richie with this his was, other wife. This was, you, can we talk about that? You can. What was that meeting like? We had a, we had a lunch. We had a lunch over in uh, your place. We used to go with Ray. Forno. Yeah, we went with Mancini. Well, how about the time I had the rich kid? Wait, 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 wait. I, I had the rich kid at my house. I was, I was, I was. Wait, cold. can I do the fat Richie thing? <laughs> Here's the thing with the fat Richie. She shows up. Was he in a wheelchair or not? Nah, yeah. he, he kind of walks with a cane, I think. It was, it was like they needed like an army to get him. Yeah, he, well, he right? got heavier. Heavier. Yeah, he walks yeah, with a cane. When I, when he walks first, with a cane. When I first met okay, him, wait. he was like a so baby for, fat. But Richie comes. He he was he was accompanied right by his his wife. Yeah, this is... We think it was a wife. He married this young girl. He got... He divorced his first wife. Oh, is this the, the one he's still with? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know who that yeah. is. Yeah. But his first so, wife was nice. So, he had no, nice looking women. But, but wait a second, though. So, so one of the things there is, there's not a part for, which is no problem, is his, his wife was Asian. Yeah. And he went through certain explanations. Right. But their to, relationship is a lot like the fat man... Yes. And the girl in the movie, yes, Samantha. They, they, it's a they similar. had, he, he, the first thing, within two minutes of meeting, he was quick to confess that their relationship had never been consummated. 
He said that? Do you remember? I don't remember him saying that. What do you mean, consummated? That they never made love? Yes. Yeah. He said that? He said that they, they don't do it as a matter of, they, they, that he couldn't. <laughs> but, but the, you don't remember this? I don't remember this. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I, I'm on, like there was a game yeah. show, the, the dating game with a newly wow. They go, what? You don't remember this? What? You don't remember this? Really? No, I honestly you don't remember. Don't we come remember. in there, I'm, I meet this guy. He's like, he's 400 pounds if he's like right. anything. Yeah. And this woman comes in, this attractive woman. Can you rewrite the part for an Asian woman? Yeah, sure. Okay, no problem. Boom. No. All right. Here's the thing. He says, here's the thing. Me and her, you know, I can't, you know, so I want to be good can't to perform. her. Remember, right. I, I want to, I want to yeah. give her something. I want to give her something. So he, right. was, this whole thing, like <laughs> the well, movie is. You don't remember this? We're <laughs> sitting in a forno, and I'm thinking, like, this is, this is. I guess not. This is more nuts than nuts. It's probably you're probably right. I just yeah. don't. Only you could bring that guy in. What's a bond? <laughs> I love you so much, Mark. It's but, gotten even you know, worse with. This he would guy. talk about me, but that, like in the. Third but your person. dad is wait, wait. But here's one thing. Really no bullshit. You know, the, the, the bad part of your dad is what's a bond? The, the best part of your dad? He's got a heart bigger than Richie. And Richie was fucking gigantic. He still is. He's alive. But, He's but oh, alive. we're going to get sued or killed or something. What are He's we going to do? Around. We get stabbed. I hope Dude, he goes for you. No, he's, he's, he's not Mark, a killer. Mark, he had, like a, he had events that like, we would go to. I'm trying to tell you bizarre. something nice about your dad. I mean, you, the you, biggest heart I, I've, I've ever seen. Thank so, you. So you're going to get married. Then. I appreciate that. No, it's not. I told you he's not my type. But no. you see, the reason I was, I thought maybe. Can't compliment him. You see that? This I thought is, Fat Richie maybe, you know, like, you know, that was similar to, in the movie, there's a relationship with a, with a young girl and an older kind of aging mob guy. Right. So it was kind of like, there was something there that I thought that might interest right. you. But I know you thought it was. It was in, but he didn't have I'm like, what the fuck have you got me into? Because, no, he would always say, but, you know, I'm invest, Nick, but <laughs> Livia has to be involved. She has to be involved. She has right. to be involved, Nick. Right. And I don't mean just like, but, but she can't. Right. She can't act. Right. <laughs> so how could it I? It was that, too. Yeah. I mean, how could I give it a movie? The best was, like. But then I had another. Richie, what are your credits as a producer? What's her credits as an actress? Bupkis. Everything it's like about a living. Two counts of bump kids. <laughs> every story, but he loved her. Every story he has, this is how it starts. You know, I'm probably going to die very soon. So I need to give something to a living. No, that's, yeah. that's right. It's okay. exactly. That's right. And you know what he told me? How do you don't remember that? I remember that. But I know one thing he told me. At my funeral, I want you to come there. This is what he told me. Yeah, go on. And you go up to Olivia and you go, I'm there for you. I'll always be there for you. How, how, how there for you how? Like biblically? I don't know. He, he just wants I'm me to tell her, you. I'll be there for you. That's I go, good. I'm not after your wife. Don't worry about it. I'm just give her to Oliver wife. Stone. No, he actually came to the set of how he met her. Oh, no. Oh, he brought her. He was with his wife, and he brought her with, to the set of... Uh, are, these, are these comfortable seats? I don't know. It's something new. It was the longest yard, and she had long hair. And everybody was looking, looking at her. Wait, in L.A. or? Yeah, yeah, somehow he found that I was filming. He came with his blonde wife and he brought this young chick with a. With how many girls hair. did he come with? He had his wife, not her. Oh. But she was like a friend of, the, of theirs. I don't know how he got her. Plus, he, you know, if he can't. So he betrayed the wife with her? Yeah, basically. And he wasn't even like. And he's not even stupid enough. I don't understand. Maybe he has a great rap. He must have something. He has a better rap with women than he does with. As or she's guy. just, you know, a little whacked, whacked in the head, maybe. Maybe convinced her, you know, I'll make you a star. I guess that's true. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I can see. I've heard so many business he can ventures talk, with this guy. He can talk in the room. He could sell me in the room. Talk about me like I'm not even there. He could sell this shit out yeah, of Yeah, but me. he says how you're like a, you, you disappoint yourself all the time. He says, I love Nick like well, a brother. let me tell you something about Nick Toro. I love him like a brother. Nick Toro, nobody understands the real Nick Toro. And he goes into it. He goes onto a whole rant about me. And it's fascinating to watch because I think the guy does really like love me. Yeah, but like, but, but he's like, but he's a bum. Well, Whoa, what do you say? He's a bum. He lives in he, Valencia. What is he going to do? What, what's, what's wrong with Valencia? It's not what's wrong with it. I just know he's a fake mob guy. So it's like not like I. Yeah, he's not, he's not a real mob guy. He's not a real mob guy. The guy just a real mob guy he, might have had like a couple like, of shekels like, to rub. He's like together. what he's like what McConaughey says in that Wolf of Wall Street. He's like he's fugazi, he's fugazi, he's a wazi, he's a woozy, he's fairy dust. It's never landing. It's bullshit. Like that's what he is. Everything he says is bullshit. He told my mom, "I want to open a Mr. restaurant." Mr. Hollywood with you. believed him though. 
Mark, just meet with this guy. Mark, just meet with this guy. Don't well, worry. listen, I, I give anybody a fair, sh fair shake. I've been trying to make this movie for Especially if you had $10,000 in a paper bag. No. I didn't, know, I didn't know he was the guy. He gave me money. They gave me actual money, but I Why did something. Why did he give you enough money for a bond? If he did, we would be. I, I would have made the movie if I had enough money for a bond. What's I'd be a, making the movie. What's a bond? I still haven't given up on this movie. Here we are. 20, they don't even make movies anymore. Twenty something years we have, later. We have not maybe only, Netflix. Wait, 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 listen, listen. Maybe Netflix. Not only will make it. have you gone from playing like the sixteen-year-old boy, yeah, to to the father, yeah. Okay, like movies themselves are an antiquated concept. Kind of. Yeah. That's how they got this other movie we're, made, we're The done. Irishman. Wow. Because they, they, there's these new outlets and Netflix, they want to be in business <laughs> with these old guys, right? right. They figure they can right. get more people to right. watch. Those are old guys who have done something. Yeah, I know that. Old guys who have it. But we've I done mean, a few things. Well, you, you know, but we're Mark now, them. Mark has written the latest version of it, which is a good screenplay. You it's guys, it's you, the first okay. time he's written, wrote a screenplay. I actually helped a little bit. I didn't get a writing credit this time, but it's okay. We still haven't gotten it made. Do you think there's any hope? No. You've given up hope. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I've never given up hope. I still believe in my heart. One day, we're going to be watching right. the movie. Okay. I really believe that. I don't know why. I, mean, I just feel like that's one of these movies that has just stuck with me for some reason. I told you what to do. You got to focus on a certain topic that's very popular right now in films. You What's know, that? Why give it away? Have them read the book and they'll figure it out. I got a question for you. Yeah. Why did you feel so strongly about the book? I guess because just the relationships between the brothers, I don't know, the movie just spoke to me in a certain way. I could see the movie in my head. Um, there's a lot of love in the movie, too. There's a really see, a lot I of think the, I actually think the, the story is strongest and the screenplay is strongest. I'm not saying that the screenplay is strong. But it's better than the book. And I can say that having written both. Is it, it, it's, um, it's a love song to a city that we grew up in that does not exist. And right. I'm not being like a, a bullshit old New York guy. That's the truth. That right. was, that was um, a beautiful, flawed, fascinating city that, that really that, that, that doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, and, and that's where that's where the book is strong. It's um, I know I drove him. Look at him; he's on his phone. Look at him. Yeah, you're supposed to be the MC paying right. attention. You're, you're on your phone watching. watching porn. What are you watching? Then? <laughs> no, but what he's saying it's is true. Instagram. Because it's no, no, but, but one of the reasons why I drove your dad crazy with um, the soundtrack of it, you know, the the, yeah. the, the, the soul groups and the disco. Is it the, the sound of that time? Right. Was was beautiful. Was important. That that's what takes you back. And the, and the references to the kung fu movies and why right. he likes. You know, who do you like, Thurman or Reggie? Reggie. Who do you you know? Right. Um, the, the, the characters. It, it was, was cool. It was very yeah, Right. It was very New York driven specific. And I don't I, I don't think kids grow up like that in New no, York anymore. No. And you I know? still think that the movie could, you know. God bless her. I love you for that. Could you're resonate. Out your, you're out of your mind. No, I'm, I'm just oh, The movie could resonate, yeah. Yeah, it could yeah, still yeah. resonate. I mean, and if you found a new platform, like, you know, they made this Irishman movie. Obviously, De Niro was behind it, but he was behind it for a long time. De Niro and Scorsese. But, and Joe Pesci. And Totoro and Kriegel. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> Netflix. I'm, I'm surprised they I'm surprised they haven't given you a million dollars for the bond. Just for the bond. Just for the bond? Just for the bond. <laughs> just for the bond. How many books have you written? Is that your favorite? I mean, do you look at yourself as purely a deep down? I'm not down? purely anything anymore. You're not? No. Why? I'm a TV guy. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm an essayist on TV now, a lot mm. of what I do. Mm -hmm. um, I do these features for the ESPN boxing. I still do stuff for the NFL. Um, at my core, I'm, I'm a writer. Right. But... I haven't done a biography since Mancini that came out in 2012. I, I don't know where the hell I would find the time now. Um, and, and, and when you do, when you do biographies, you got to be completely in. Like 
That's your whole it's life. It's almost like, I would imagine, uh, method acting. You're just completely immersed into that in the world of, of this character. You don't have a... I remember um, doing a book on, on Joe Namath. So it took like two years. Look, he's breaking stuff on his set. Don't worry about it. It's the man What's bun. Happened, brother? That's what happens when you get a man bun. <laughs> you lose your shit. So what happened with so Joe Namath? I didn't have a thought in my head for two years that wasn't about Joe Namath. I mean, it was, like, it was interesting to me, but I must have been an impossible boy to talk to. And I don't know where I would... I'm on the road all the time now. Um, I don't know where I'd find that time. Bless me, Father. How long did that take you to write? I wrote that while I was doing a column. While you were doing a column? Um, actually, I was learning to write a column and, and learning to write a bad novel at the same time. Um, it's not a bad novel. I don't agree with you, but go ahead. I started, I started late 92... And it came out in 95. Mm -hmm. So I finished it in like 93, 94. I remember doing rewrites while the, the, Knicks and the, and the Knicks and the Rangers were making their run in 94, the final rewrite. In 94? I was, yeah, I was, I was just going nuts. How it, long were you a newspaper columnist? A columnist from 91 to 2000. But I started a newspaper in what, 86. Right. So 86 to 2000. Is that what you wanted first when you, as a writer? Did you want to be a, did you want to be a? I wanted to be a columnist. Columnist. A reporter. No, I wanted to be a columnist. Columnist. Uh -huh. I wanted to be like a big city columnist. You were on your way, right? Yeah. Yeah. I told, but except that every time, you know, every time I moved to the front of the paper, like Hammond would get fired, I have to go back to sports. I never wanted to be a sports writer. Oh, you I did I fought it all the time. I fought it all the way. The only sport... I felt truly at home in was boxing. Right. From the beginning. From the beginning when I when I covered it, it was um I felt at home there. And it was it was about I was inevitably in boxing writing about the stuff that I wanted to write about in the front of the paper. It was always something about like fame and masculinity and fathers right. and sons and all the shit that's now familiar to you for me. But, um, you know, proving yourself, um, the idea of courage and violence, mm -hmm. um, yeah, boxing was great. Right. I mean, there's a reason why, there's a reason why, like, boxing as a sport is over here, mm -hmm. but, like, boxing cinema is over here. Right. You know, there's how many great, not, not even good movies, but great movies come out of just boxing. Yeah. There's, there's a reason for that. Um, so, yeah, because it, it resonates on a truer, more. It's, it's not. It's not just that it. it, it, it There's something really honest about that whole world. Well, e you? even the even the even the deceits, which are fucking monumental, right, are are honest or more, more real um, than they are in, in other sports. It's not like you're going through twenty other people, and the the fighters themselves are are all but naked, physically and, and emotionally. Right. So, I mean, it's really about, like, the, the fear of humiliation as much as it is about anything. And that I did understand at some level when I was doing Bless Me Father, that um, getting your, actually getting your ass kicked hurts less than having to think about getting your ass kicked. That's interesting. And... and, yeah. and and Nikki comes to understand the, the character in the book. It's curious that, that, that the kid's name was Nikki. I named him after yeah. one of my closest friends, a kid I grew up with. His name was Nikki? Nikki, yeah. Um, I lived on the 19th floor. He lived on the 2nd. Did you live in the West Village? No, I, live, I, lived, I lived on 8th Avenue. 8th Avenue? You know where it looks like uh, they drop like Co-op City into the middle of Manhattan? Yeah. Like the same buildings. Yeah. Look, like, it's like the projects for Jewish people. Right. Right there, between 8th and 9th Avenues, the inter ladies' garment workers union houses. But um, In the 40s? What, what street no, in the 20s. Oh, in the 20s. Oh, up there. In the 20s, from 23rd to like uh, 29th Street. That's where, you, 8th and 9th that's Avenue. where you grew yeah. up? Yeah. In a building? Yeah. You and your brother? Me and my brother. And your dad was a writer? My, my dad was a writer, yeah. What did he write? Books, too? My dad, my dad wrote like scholarly stuff. He never made any money, like very small scholarly magazines. My dad taught at City College. That's how, you know, he paid the bills. Right. Um, but 
Where were we? Boxing. Yeah, so. And you're, and you're back in it, too. And you're with it again. Maybe there's a reason why boxing. This, this is actually the best gig I ever had. This, and you know how much I like to complain. You never hear me. When, you ever heard me say anything was good? No. No. Right. This, I, you know. I watched a show with him at his house one time. And uh, the show went on for an hour. And he could have, like, turned it off, like, the first five. But every five minutes, he kept saying, this show sucks. But what were you watching? Which show? We were watching The uh. Deuce. It no, was. it wasn't the deuce. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't the deuce. No, I you're wrong. I said put on Sopranos then. No, no, I never. I, 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 no, no, it wasn't the deuce. I would never say David Simon's show sucked. You said some of my life. No, it was that one about the kids in Hollywood. Oh. No, 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 no. He stop. It, what, you, 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 don't generalize. No, don't get it wrong. Yeah. No, I swear it was. It the was the dude. one. What's the one in Hollywood with all those kids? Oh, Entourage. Entourage. Oh, we said, like that. No, show. but he came over and it was like in the middle of the afternoon, and like he's got nothing better to do with his life than watch like reruns of Entourage. And I was like, "Come on, get out of here, stop." It's a great it wasn't. Show. It wasn't the dudes. The dudes wasn't even. Uh, wasn't even around then. Yeah, it was. No, last year it was on. No, he's wrong. It was the dudes. He's wrong. No, I don't, I don't. The thing I don't like about the the, the dudes. I don't, I don't go for the, the, two, the two guys. Oh, Franco playing two guys? Yeah. It's a yeah. good actor, but I, I, it's, like, it's like too much. It's like, look at me with this. It's too much. It's not his I choice. Think. I mean, that's, that's the... It's probably, if you can get away with it, it's a great like, gimmick as an actor, but I, I don't think you... you Have you, you seen Adaptation that. with uh, Nick Cage? He plays two guys. That's a different uh, uh, movie. Whatever. That's but no, but he's one. saying the point is he doesn't like when an actor plays it, two but it, people. But it, this, is, this is every week he's playing two guys. You know, go, go, what do you, what, what's on your phone? Business. <laughs> Watching the porn. <laughs> so you love, business. you love your job now, huh? Yeah. That's good. He's good at it too. And, and I'm tired of being in an airplane. But, you know. Yeah, but you're on TV now. Now you're, yeah. now you're a TV star. Well, it's. Kind of, you kind of. You're kind of bringing down the, the word star there. <laughs> Do you have a, do you, are you yourself or do you have to like? You think, you, let's get to the point. You think I'm full of shit. I don't think no, so. No, I don't. No, I don't. I think that you're. I can't act like, like I act. No. When we're having dinner I'm on Saturday that. night on TV. You try to be as organic as you can be, right? I, I think yeah. that I am. Or, You've gotten I, better. I, I, no, but I, oh, thank you. You've Faint praise. Better. But no, 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 no. I, I can't be, you know, like I am after I only three or four glasses of that there's, wine. There's like, there's another, it's a broadcast. There's another voice that you use sometimes that we all laugh. Like we crack up because we like know you. Like the fuck you, you voice. Well, that I'm not going to use that on ESPN. No, I know that. But then there's this other voice that you use sometimes. Like it's, it's more of like a theatrical. But I understand what you're what doing. Would you say, what works. would you say? That, that what would you say? You know, right? Give an example. It's like, what would you say? What would you say? If you were to do this in the fight. If. This I'm gonna throw the eggplant at you. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm just busting. You know, you, you've come a long way on t on the camera. It's not easy to be. I in liked front his of reveals the too. They were great. I thought the reveals were great. Those are and good. I think Those are really good. His articles are great, and you know, now he's finding a different spot. But I'm, but I'm 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 doing. I'm writing stuff that I care a lot about. Like right. You know, a profile of personal Thomas pieces, Crawford. right? No, they're not. They're, I'm personally invested. Right, you're in personally them. invested. They're not. They're, they're rarely first-person pieces. Right. Um, but you have an interest in it. Yeah, like I cared, right. I cared a lot about the interior spaces of Terrence Crawford's life. Or right. I did a piece on his kid Benavides last year. Right. Getting shot in the knee. Why did someone, you know, take out his knee? Yeah. Um, bunch of pieces like that. That's um, good. Zerto Ramirez, growing up, wanted to be a hitman in, in, in Mazatlan. There's right. Julian's uh, There's, fighter. Right. Julian's yeah. his coach. But that's where you really shine. Julian should tell him to fight. I mean. Because he hasn't fought in I don't know how long, and it's a waste of time. But you know Julian. Because the kid's you, really talented. You could just tell Julian. He turned down an offer. He turned down an offer. He, he missed a date, and I think he's going to suffer for it. I heard it was a pretty good offer. Um, you know, he, I really like the kid, but he should damn, be fighting. Damn good fighter. Listen, the, the, one, the, the one thing in this, acting is different. But, but, but sports, the, the one thing you can't like, improve on, you can't change, is your prime. Your prime is finite. And if you, if you lose time, you can't, get, you can't get time back as an athlete. It's true. Yeah. Cannot. It's true. As an actor, you can pretty much act at any age, depending right. on what it is. Right. 
Yeah, but you still have to kind of reinvent yourself. Well, yeah, like but like, child. But, but like, you could still get a big money. He's saying like, like at sixty years old, you could technically still get a big money job where could. they can as an athlete. Right. It's the, yeah, there's only that is. short period of time they can get that. It is different. What about Ray? Did you enjoy writing a book about Ray Mancini? I love that. I love that. How'd that come about? Well, whose idea was that? It was it was mine. Yeah. Um, you you had a couple of choices, but then I I was I was flailing about for an idea, and I'd gone through a, a couple, but the one that I really wanted to do was was Mancini, and the whole idea of being overwhelmingly popular and being seen as like a great white hope, which which Ray was, right, and then coming up against the idea of a death in the ring which you, the one thing you can't sell in boxing. And his whole world turned. And um, I love that idea. And you gotta be able to love the character and love the idea to, mm -hmm. to do it. Um, and I heard, oh, it's a, it's a boxing book, it'll never sell. But you don't think it's a boxing book? I, don't, I never thought it was about. Right. I think it's. I think it's about fathers and sons. I think it's about Hollywood too, but the way Hollywood looks at the fighter or the idea of a fighter. The idea of a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, th there's this moment when, when the tragedy hits Mancini, he's as popular as any fighter <clears throat> in 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 the world, the possible exception of Ray Leonard, who retired I think the week before the Kim fight. So Ray has everything laid out for him to be like the real life Rocky. And there's this, there's this moment where, you know, people in the street, I'm, I'm sure you get this with like Brucey, right? People think Brucey's a real guy. Yeah. And people are so n nuts. Um, but there's this brief period in American life where people are going up to Ray and go like, you better kick that Mr. T's ass. They don't make the distinction between like him and Rocky. It's, it's, all, it's all on the same reel. Right. Um, and then you have something that's overwhelmingly powerful and, and, and sad. And I really think that, you know, Ray, Ray was a hero. And people fell in love with him for the, for the right reasons. I mean, he comes from the, the, what we now know as the Rust Belt. He was doing it for his dad. Mm -hmm. He loved the game, all like righteous reasons. And then he came up against death and despair and self-righteousness. Right. Um, let's ban boxing. And he came up against all of that. And he said, like, wait, I thought you people loved me. Right. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a touching I story. thought that the, the postscript, and you, you know, you're in the book. Yeah. Um, the idea of the fighter becoming an actor um is is an old you know, it's been happening for a long time now right and it's not as easy as just you, you can't turn your career your charisma doesn't go necessarily from one thing into the other um sometimes it does but it, it, it's hard it's not easy you to know make that, right um so i i think that um ray assumed that everyone in hollywood would love him and they did for a time um, and there's a lot of like glad handing and you know, Ed, Ed O'Neill had a great line about Ray it was much more comfortable in the ring because you know guys come at you and you can see them But in Hollywood they take like angles that you can't even see they're <laughs> right. sneaky, right? Exactly and, and that that was the difference That's that's good. That's a lot of I wisdom. always thought that I, I think I'd tell you about this if, if there were um Ray remakes Body and Soul with, with an even better cast than you had for Bless Me Father, I have to say. I mean, it's like, it's like Rod Steiger. Like, he had like a cast there. Forget it. Well, he did remake it. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I, I thought if there was a movie of The Good Son, which is the name of the book. Name of the book. You would do it as Ray playing the John Garfield role and producing this movie. Right, with all these are good actors. And looking back on his life while he's doing this, this movie that's not quite working out, you know, um, that the, the, movie, the movie is about 
the movie. I see. It's about the actor in Hollywood. And, right. Because there's this... Like a movie within a movie. Look, I mean, look, yeah. Bless Me Father is... is it a, would it be a mob picture or a boxing picture? I think it's more of a boxing picture, actually. I do. You yeah. know? Um, but, but anyway, that's, that's how I would have done it. But I think that's another great idea that won't see the <laughs> fucking light of day. <laughs> Joe Namath, Pistol Pete, Ray Mancini. Bless me. How, how many? Four books? Five Four. Books? Four. Four. And I'm going to do the Nick Nick story. You're going to do Nick Nick story? Yeah. Why so. I wore a man bun. <laughs> if you told me like you were, you were wearing a man bun to get girls, I'd be, okay. I get it. But just like they isn't do that, it recreationally. Isn't, I, isn't I that understand. worse than recreationally? But, no, that's at least that you're doing it with a goal in mind. Something, you but, know. But there's, but the goal in mind to manipulate women. What's the point of that? I'm not saying man, woman. Uh, woman would just like me. Why you gotta bring manipulate? Well, if you wear any kind of hairstyle, um, try to get. Uh, forget about it. If that's who you are, I'm, that's who I'm, you I'm are. I'm not talking for five minutes. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to. I just. Uh, How's your daughter Holiday? She's very good. She, right. She's trying to make it as an actress. It's tough out there, ain't it? She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Do I need to well, talk get to a her? Picture? Yeah, you talk yeah. to her. All right. Should we take get, a picture? Get a, get a bond. No, it's, Should we get a bond? <laughs> what, are you excited to see the Irishman? De Niro, Pesci? You didn't Pacino? invite me. I haven't seen it. I wasn't. My John's. Brother, I'm, not, I'm not excited. You're not excited. Yeah. I'm not excited. I'm, I'm, what excites you? Anything? I can't tell you. Really? You know what excites me. Yeah. How come you don't like baseball? It's not that I don't like baseball. I will wait till October, till it matters. So it's exciting. It matters Friday. Yankees open Friday. Okay, good. Are you are you going to the game, Dad? I I, I go. I, I don't need the baseball. I get the updates from you with the Twitter, with the capital letters. What's so wrong with the? Ca- why why is everybody against capital letters? I'm not. A, I'm, I'm not. A, What's wrong with it? It's not I that he's mean, against it. He just wants you to like company. spell. You're in your company. You you and the, the chief executive of the United States. Oh, you put me in with him. You put yourself in with the capital letters. So I shouldn't do that no more. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not. I'm not your boss. I'm your friend. I'm with you no matter what. I have unconditional love. All right. Well, maybe I should Close use less capital letters. Then. Fewer. 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 All right. So, I could always improve. Yeah. You know what I mean? Life I mean, is you, no you know what I like. I like when you come over for dinner. I like coming over to dinner. Your house. He's had some of the greatest meals at my house, right? Yep. The pork sauce. Pork sauce. But also, the, what else? The mo- I've had the most fun. You have the most fun. Mickey comes over. Humps Chancellor. Yeah. Mickey's my dog. That's his dog, Mickey. Right. He's a a little you, bulldog. Remember, what, remember, what, remember before Mickey got his. Operation? Yeah. Oof. He'd be like humping the air. He's, he was really horny, huh? Chance is still horny. Yeah. The, 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 the air could have filed a, a, a lawsuit against Mickey. <laughs> Mickey. He was farting the other night. You know, when your dog he farts, was. you got to remove him. We're trying to well, watch a fight. What do you want fight. me to do? No, we're trying Did, to watch a fight. You stayed there? I know, but like that Your friend removed pass. them from the area. If that... I was farting, you'd send me in another room. You'd throw me out of the house. Because you know better. He doesn't know better. He can't help himself. You know? <laughs> Yeah, All I wouldn't right. throw Chancellor out. What time is it? We're good. We're good. Thank you, brother. The so you're throwing me out now? I'm not throwing you out. I mean, we could talk. We'll come, you'll come back. We'll do more. All right. Do more. But you know, here's the thing. Here's a funny thing. When I tried to get all emotional and talk about how much your father meant to me, he kind of cut it off. He, he went past it. Went, you, did you notice that? No. Did I? You were, too, you, were watching, you were watching porn on your phone. I'm sorry. Not me. No, him. Hey, Dad, oh, if you want to, you know, real do real independent filmmaking, like you said, you should just ha- shoot on Saturdays and Sundays with Jim and yeah, and your, with your iPhone in the backyard of uh, Malka. Why don't you do that? No, don't, don't no, do that. I'm not going to do don't. that. I'm not going to do what Eddie Murphy does. <laughs> don't do that. I used to love Eddie Murphy. Don't do that. I'm not doing that. He's coming back for stand. I love you guys. Yeah, yeah that's right. Mark Kriegel, ladies and gentlemen. 